And now joining us via Skype with more in the wake of this latest attack in New York, we have Asher Ben Artsi, a security and intelligence consultant. Now, what are the reasons that we are witnessing more anti-Semitism now? Uh, because a lot of people liken what's going on right now to the rise of anti-Semitism in Germany ahead of the Holocaust. Is that accurate? I think that it's a part of the politics. Uh, now it's it's very modern to be anti-Zionist. And to be anti-Zionist means to be uh, anti-Semitic. Uh, and we, we can see more attacks now than, than in the past uh, because uh, it, it's, it's very modern. Uh, people are talking about it more than ever. Interesting. So you're almost likening uh, these anti-Semitic attacks to really just there being more and more hatred for the state of Israel and people not being able to differentiate that. Yes, uh, th th that's what I, I claim. Uh, it's a part of the politics. But uh, we, we, we should consider anti-Semitism as terror. And uh, we, we, we have to behave as we behave against terror. Mm -hmm. Now, is, what is going on in terms of preventing this? Because, like we said before, there seems to be more and more anti-Semitic incidents coming out. It's also not clear whether or not just more of these incidents are being reported as well. But is there any kind of move that is being made right now that is having an impact on stopping this? Uh, we, we can prevent such attacks uh, if, uh, if, if, we, if we have more cooperation between agencies. Uh, information regarding uh, such attacks is the, the main issue and the uh, local police, federal police, uh, New York police, uh, all together, uh, if we combine them all together, they will have the full scope, the full uh, image, and uh, we can do something against anti-Semitism in the U.S. All right. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you.